Hi everyone, and welcome to the daily wrap. We're going to just do a shortened version today. Um, instead of going over the week's activities, just go over the day's activities. We look over here at the ASX 200, the All Lords. Um, it was a very dull day today. Um, we were up during the day, but we closed down about half a percent. Um, very lacklustre day of trading, typical for Friday. Um, first stock we'll look at is FBR, Fast Bricks. Um, Washington Sol Patterson, SOL is their code, increased their stake in Fast Bricks. And um, yeah, Fast Bricks did really well today. That's a daily chart. If we look, um, Fast Bricks has had a massive run up um, all the way down from high ones um, hitting five cents today. Um, another interesting stock that we talk about a lot, BPH, we'll just bring up the chart over here. So they actually raised money over here. when it was down here. Um, we did get a lot of interest on 180 markets and everyone that took stock, I think has done really well because straight after the placement it hit five cents. It halved after that, but today was up 13%. Um, we look at another big runner today, LNR, um, that was up 22%. Another stock that we've seen have a massive run up um, in Yardi, I think it was, raised money for them recently in what was a very popular raise, and um, you can see why. Somehow people just knew about it, and it's done really well. Um, we'll look at VR8. So it was a pretty interesting day today, up 11%. Um, what happened was there was a cross-trade this morning of 30 million shares, um, and obviously it was someone... A substantial shareholder selling out, but I think the market got excited by the potential of who was buying in. So the market pushed it up quite a bit. It did get a query from the ASX, and um, I don't think they released the name of the buyer. Um, CNJ is a stock we talk about quite a lot, down 18% today. Um, yesterday, they released an announcement, and um, it hit 7.2% after the news. Um, so the announcement yesterday morning was um, heavy sulfides here. Um, but what they did this afternoon was they corrected the announcement and obviously the market did not like that. So it traded down to four and a half after hitting seven yesterday. So um, yeah, I do feel sorry for anyone that was buying at the highs yesterday, but that's been a great performer over the last six months. So that's it. That's the week done. Um, enjoy your weekend, everyone.